This story started 12 years ago. A young and beautiful researcher from Germany came to Tanzania for work and fell in love with a Maasai warrior. She chose to live with him in a small hut in the wild jungle, leaving behind all the comfort and the good life she had for the sake of love. What has happened to them 12 years later, and what does their son look like now? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. Stephanie Fuchs was an ordinary European girl. She was born in Frankfurt, Germany in June 1986 and was raised by a single mom who had come to Germany from France when she was only 19 years old. Incidentally, she also moved away from home when she was just 19. She traveled around Australia and then went to England to study biology and conservation at Bath Spa University. During that period, she spent two months in Zimbabwe to do research for her dissertation. It was at that time that she fell in love with Africa and promised herself she would return soon. Stephanie loved traveling and discovering new cultures. She could have gotten married in Germany and been happy. However, such a life seemed so boring to her. She dreamed of travel and adventure. After she graduated, she went to Tanzania as a volunteer for a London-based nature conservation group. She lived in a small village on Mafi Island, south of Zanzibar. It was there that she met her future husband. While working, she noticed a group of tall, beautiful herdsmen who followed the ancient tradition of guiding cattle across the African savanna. Her future husband, Sokoin, stood out with his red clothing and beautiful handmade jewelry. At that moment, I saw only him. He was taller than the others and had the most beautiful eyes, she said. And from that point on, she couldn't stop thinking about him and soon fell in love. It might have seemed a bit crazy, considering they came from entirely different worlds, but Stephanie didn't care. She fell in love so much that she was ready to give up her whole past life. Stephanie had already been living in Tanzania for a year and had learned Swahili, the native language of Tanzania. So she talked to him and confessed her feelings. The African man couldn't resist the beautiful foreigner, and they spent the night together. However, he couldn't have imagined that this girl would become his wife. A week later, they decided to be together, and a few months later, they decided to get married and move to his family's home in the Maasai Steppe. Stephanie had to abandon all the benefits of civilization. Her family wasn't initially enthusiastic about the relationship and had some concerns. However, when they met him, their opinions changed. Together with her husband, she lived in a small hut made of dung. There was no sewage, running water, or electricity. She had to go to the toilet in the wild jungle far from the village and wash herself with a bucket. Proper food and medicine were scarce. In the beginning, she felt lonely and isolated because they spoke the tribal language. It was also tough to have alone time with her partner, as he was always with other warriors. So Kowain's brothers were frequently around, sometimes even sleeping in the same space as Stephanie and Sokoin. These cultural differences caused problems in the relationship, leading to arguments. The couple realized that to stay together, they had to adapt to each other's lifestyles. Another challenge was the harsh physical environment. Stephanie fell ill multiple times, from leg infections to malaria and amoebas. It's no wonder that after a year, Stephanie had had her fill and wanted to go back to Germany. The adjustment wasn't just about physical challenges but also involved psychological and emotional strains. However, love was the most important thing for her. Stephanie was willing to endure any difficulties for the sake of her beloved man. Sakoin was wonderful. He guided, cheered, and helped her, sometimes setting aside his traditions for her happiness. His family was also very kind to her and assisted her in adapting to the new culture. They were so welcoming and tolerant towards me. They put Maasai jewelry on me and dressed me in their clothes. They made sure they provided me with all the basic comforts they could give me, basically looking after me as well as you would after a small child," she said. In 2016, Stephanie gave birth to her son, Yannick, which brought a lot of happiness to the entire family. She often shares his pictures on Instagram, and they appear to be a joyful family. He doesn't speak German, he only speaks Ma, 
his father's language. Stephanie explained, I didn't teach him my native language, German, because it didn't feel right to me. I left Germany 17 years ago and never looked back. It seemed disrespectful to the family who helped me raise him during his early months to speak the language to my son that they couldn't understand. So Coyne is actively involved in the upbringing of his son, just as if he were a Western man. In Maasai culture, it's usually the mother's responsibility to raise the child. But Stephanie's husband is challenging that stereotype. This is not the only tradition he's breaking for his wife. So Quain also told Stephanie that he would never marry another woman or practice polygamy, which is common among Maasai men. He's completely in love with his wife and the family of three they've built together. Today, Stephanie and So Quain have been married for 11 years and their son is almost seven years old. Although she admits that her marriage isn't so perfect and that her life is not a fairy tale, she's so happy living in East Africa. I am happier than I have ever been, and I have come to love this beautiful tribe so much," she said. In 2020, she began a project run by Maasai women that makes reusable menstrual pads. She collected funds for sewing machines and training through another crowdfunding campaign. This project has been beneficial in helping Maasai women gain confidence and become more self-reliant. She also established a cultural tourism website where she educates guests about the Maasai culture and provides them with the chance to participate in the daily activities of the Maasai people. She offers multi-day stays for a deep cultural experience. Stephanie also wrote a book called Isipada, My Place is with the Maasai, where she shared her life in the tribe. The book was a big success and became a bestseller in many countries around the world. Stephanie and So Coin are still together and their love is just as strong as it was 12 years ago. Stephanie, the young German researcher who followed her heart to Tanzania, didn't just find love. She built a special and beautiful life with So Coin and their son Yannick. Their story is a great example of how love can overcome differences, challenge traditional ways, and bring together two people from very different backgrounds to create something truly extraordinary. Do you believe in love between people from different cultures? And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.